Welcome to our channel. Today we are taking a trip back in time as we explore a collection of vintage photographs that capture moments from history. Join us as we step back in time and immerse ourselves in the rich history captured in these stunning vintage photographs. Anita Ekberg, a golden-haired goddess of the silver screen, had the kind of allure that could stop hearts and capture imaginations. With her striking beauty, she was an embodiment of the classic Hollywood charm. Her voluptuous curves, expressive eyes, and radiant smile enthralled audiences worldwide. Every film she graced was electrified by her presence, making her an unforgettable icon of her era. In the mid-1980s, a unique style began to emerge, symbolized by celebrities such as Kelly LeBrock. In the movie Weird Science from 1985, LeBrock was a vision of that time, with her luxuriant voluminous hair which was a hallmark of that decade. Her dramatic full-bodied curls framed her striking features, encapsulating the audacious, larger-than-life style of the 80s that rejected subtlety in favor of extravagance and flamboyance. Shifting our gaze across the Atlantic, we find ourselves in the heart of London at Piccadilly Circus in the 1960s. Known as a hub of excitement and culture, the vibrant energy of this iconic location is palpable even through photos. The kaleidoscope of neon lights illuminating the night, the buzzing traffic, and the colorful assortment of people all contributed to its unforgettable character. It was a living, breathing testament to the swinging 60s, a place where the old and new coalesced in a bustling, vibrant spectacle. In that same bustling city of London in 1960, we come across the stunning Mylene de Mongiat at the Odeon. The French actress was a captivating figure, her sparkling eyes and enchanting smile radiating charm and charisma. Dressed to the height of fashion, her elegance and grace were on full display. A sophisticated, talented presence on the global cinema stage, de Mongette's timeless beauty is immortalized in this moment, captured forever at the Odeon in London. Travel back in time to the glamorous world of Hollywood in 1954, where we find the sultry Cleo Moore. Known for her roles in low-budget films, her beauty was anything but ordinary. Her stunning visage, characterized by expressive eyes and alluring curves, made her an unforgettable figure in the Hollywood of the 1950s. Moore may not have achieved the mainstream fame of some of her peers, but her unique blend of talent and glamour ensures her place in the annals of cinema history. Moving into the realm of innovation and technology, the 1960s witnessed an ingenious invention that changed the game for motorcycle riders, a helmet with a built-in communication device. This marvel of the 1960s technology offered a seamless means for riders to communicate with each other, facilitating smooth rides and safer journeys. The integration of a communication device within the very helmet used for protection was a testament to the innovative spirit of the time. Next, we step into the early 1990s with a glance at Angelica Houston, a truly distinct presence in Hollywood. Captured here in 1991, Houston's inherent magnetism and poise stand out. A formidable talent, her striking features and confident aura made her a celebrated figure in cinema. Her depth of talent was as captivating as her unique beauty, ensuring her place among the acting greats of her time. Turning a corner towards a more somber moment, we encounter an image of John Lennon and his killer. This chilling image serves as a stark reminder of the tragic events that led to the untimely death of the legendary musician and peace activist. Lennon, a man whose songs inspired and touched millions, met a grim fate that forever marked a poignant moment in music history. Back to the lighter side of things, we see Claudia Cardinale, an Italian film actress and a sex symbol of the 1960s, displaying her hip side. Always in tune with the trends and culture of her time, Cardinale is shown here enjoying the sounds of pavement, a band that wouldn't actually form until decades later, but captures the avant-garde, boundary-pushing spirit of the era she thrived in. Her embrace of new cultural movements marked her as a progressive figure, both on and off the screen. Next, we travel to the world of music in the mid-1980s, where the groundbreaking band Metallica redefined the landscape of heavy metal. In 1985, the band was at the forefront of the thrash metal scene, leaving an indelible mark with their raw energy and unapologetic sound. The fierce intensity of their music, paired with their charismatic presence, catapulted them to global stardom and forever etched their name into the annals of rock and roll history. Journeying into the rich history of Russian architecture, we take in the breathtaking view of the Church of the Savior on spilled blood in St. Petersburg. Built on the site where Emperor Alexander Kyo was fatally wounded, this architectural marble stands out with its colorful domes, intricate mosaics, and impressive stature. 
the serene Catherine Canal, dotted with leisurely cruising boats, enhances the picturesque scene. The juxtaposition of grand architecture against the peaceful flow of the canal paints a truly mesmerizing tableau. Transitioning to the domain of interior design, we find ourselves looking at an example of modern office design from 1985. Bright, open, and conducive to collaboration, the design showcases a break from traditional, closed-off workspaces, with a focus on natural light, open spaces, and an environment that encouraged communication and teamwork. The office design of the 80s marked a significant shift in how workplaces were perceived and utilized. The year is 1964, and we find ourselves in the bustling heart of Wall Street. Amongst the power and hustle stands a figure that diverges from the norm, the model Jane Shrimpton. Radiating a sense of style and elegance, she brought a touch of high fashion to the world of finance. Shrimpton, one of the world's first supermodels, was known for her striking looks and the undeniable presence she commanded in every setting. May Day, a celebration of laborers and the working class, was an event of significant importance back in the 1980s. This was a time when people would come together in unity, advocating for workers' rights and social equality. Parades, demonstrations, and communal gatherings were all part of the festivities, highlighting the collective strength of the working class and their struggle for fair working conditions. We step back into a time of prohibition and illegal hooch, specifically to Moncton, New Brunswick in Canada during the 1920s. The police, in a very public display of law enforcement, are seen emptying barrels of illicit alcohol down the sewer. The backdrop for this striking scene is the courthouse, symbolizing the authority and rigid enforcement of the prohibition laws. This moment encapsulates a pivotal period in history where societal norms clashed with legislations, leading to an era of bootlegging, speakeasies, and eventually, significant changes in alcohol-related laws. Fitting to the skies next, we delve into the history of air travel during the Soviet era. Soviet airlines, despite their austere public image, were known to provide exceptional service that often outclassed many of today's contemporary air carriers. Passengers were treated with attention and respect, the cabins were immaculate, and the amenities were luxurious. Flight attendants, always sharply dressed, offered personalized service. This was a time when flying was still seen as an event deserving of elegance and high-end service. Our journey takes a somber turn as we head to Valencia, Spain in 1937. Here a crowd is seen gathering outside a morgue following an air raid during the brutal Spanish Civil War. The palpable tension and grim reality of war is evident in the faces of the crowd. Despite the chaos, there's a strange sense of unity amongst them, sharing a common experience of fear, loss, and uncertainty. It is a stark reminder of the human cost of war. And we find ourselves back in the glamorous world of rock and roll, specifically with Elton John and his crew of the 1970s. Known for their exuberant style and larger-than-life persona, they truly embodied the flamboyant spirit of the era. One of the most iconic symbols of their success was their custom-painted 727, affectionately known as the Starship. Decked out in extravagant interiors and painted with intricate designs, the Starship was more than just a plane. It was a testament to the extravagant lifestyle that was synonymous with the biggest rock stars of the 1970s. The bold, unapologetic expression of their identity that the Starship represented is an iconic image of this legendary period in music history. Next, we transport ourselves to New York City in the 1950s at the Lincoln Tunnel, a testament to engineering and human perseverance. Patrolling this remarkable structure is a Lincoln Tunnel police vehicle. Designed with functionality and efficiency in mind, these vehicles played a crucial role in maintaining safety and order in one of the world's busiest vehicular tunnels. The image of this police vehicle captures a moment in time where law enforcement and the means by which they patrol began to evolve with the rapidly changing urban landscape. Shifting back to the glamour of Hollywood, we come across Jean Tierney on the set of the film Leave Her to Heaven in 1945. Her exquisite beauty and nuanced performances made her one of the biggest stars of her era. Tierney, with her compelling on-screen presence and intriguing off-screen persona, brought life to complex characters with grace and depth. This snapshot of her on set captures her innate elegance and the timeless allure that made her an unforgettable icon of the silver screen. Finally, we arrive at a moment of activism and youthful rebellion in 1970. Florida State University students took to the streets, voicing their vehement opposition to the Vietnam War. Their march was a powerful display of collective resistance, standing against a war that was seen by many as unjust and unnecessary. 
This demonstration was part of a larger movement that swept across college campuses throughout the United States, embodying the spirit of defiance and change that marked the era.